10 seconds. If I have asked my boyfriend once, I have asked him a dozen times, what exactly is an offsides? But I don't play the sport, do I? No. 5 seconds. As most of us have already heard, Monday's Chelsea Bolton game was not covered by commentators Andy Gray and Richard Keyes. What most might not realize, however, is the giant schism created in the football world. What on one side? Already deemed the silent majority. Versus. All professional football spokespersons. As well as Sky Sports. Gray and Keyes claim their microphones were off when they questioned whether Massey knew the offside rule. Keyes apparently said he could guarantee Massey was going to make a big mistake, adding that the game had gone mad by allowing a woman to run the line. These comments, however, are not the first sexist remarks made by this duo. In the past they have criticised the ability of former Premier League official Wendy Toms and West Ham executive Karen Brady. Do Keyes and Gray really represent a silent majority, or do they represent old, chauvinistic energy that no longer has a place in modern sport? Executive Director of Football Against Racism in Europe, an organisation working to end discrimination in football, P.R. Powell said the remarks were medieval in tone, and demonstrated the appalling and damaging sexist attitudes that still existed in the sport. Sports Minister Hugh Robertson added, it is very disappointing to hear these comments at a time when we are trying to get more women participating and officiating in sport, particularly football. Gray and Keyes have privately apologized to their employer. Sky said the two have been warned and reminded of their responsibilities. In fact the 25-year-old Massey got perhaps the biggest call of the game correct. She judged Marion is to be marginally onside when he ran onto a pass and sent the ball for Torres, who then opened the scoring in the 36th minute in Liverpool's 3-0 victory. As a side note, in November 2006, Luton Town manager Mike Newell made controversial comments about Amy Rayner, assistant in their game against Queen's Park Rangers, which Luton lost 3-2. Angry with the official's decision not to award Luton a penalty, Newell said she shouldn't be here. I know that sounds sexist. But I'm sexist. This is not park football, so what are women doing here? The FA promised to investigate, with Neil Barry saying English football needs more Amy Rayners. Newell later apologised he was fined a total of £6,500 and given a warning by his club. Stay with us. Back after the break, the game, tug of war may be coming back to the Olympics.